Uh, Kara, tell me about this, though. At first, people say, well, wait a minute. You're, it's not really what I'm used to. Is it really going to taste good? Absolutely. I met too many people that have said, I wish I could eat healthy, but I don't want to compromise taste. Let's try the chocolate one. Okay, try the chocolate this one. Is, this is a good one. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Really? Thanks for joining me again today to showcase raw, vegan, healthy versions of people's most favorite comfort foods and foods they had enjoyed growing up. The chocolate cheesecake we did on our um, book tour, the one we did in Chicago, was such a hit. Everybody loved it. The studio couldn't get enough of it. So I thought I would like to showcase um, a recipe about it. And I put a little twist on it. It's going to be a chocolate caramel cheesecake. It's basically the plain cheesecake recipe in the cookbook. I'm just going to add some chocolate syrup to it and turn the whole thing chocolate. Okay, we're going to start with the crust. I like using these little pans. They're just perfect size for one or two at the most. My crust is just a basic raw crust. It's ground up date and a walnut in the food processor. Press it against a nice small spring form pan like that. And then off to our filling. It consists of one cup coconut meat. We're Put a link below where you can um, get it. It's already cleaned and ready, all ready to go, shipped to you. Cleaned, ready to go, and rip around and throw in your blender and make a chocolate cheesecake with. Or non, or whatever else your little mind can create. So we have one cup coconut, then three fourths cup of raw unsoaked cashews. One cup of maple syrup. Or your sweetener of choice. Half cup coconut water quarter cup coconut oil, and a tablespoon of vanilla or vanilla flavoring, and one cup cacao powder. Now we just blend all these ingredients up till smooth. Pour it into my springform pan, not filling it up all the way because I want to add my, my icing to it. So I'm going to just put this in the freezer to chill, to set for half an hour and wait. Okay, now I'm going to make some my icing. Hang on, I have to wash this. Okay, <clears throat> here's the third step of the cheesecake. First we have the crust, then the chocolate filling. The third step, we're gonna work on the icing and it's the icing from the Pop-Tart recipe in the cookbook. It starts off with one and a half cups of coconut meat, four tablespoons coconut butter, not coconut oil, completely different thing, coconut butter. Three tablespoons of maple syrup, cap full of vanilla, and then we're just gonna blend this all up until smooth. So here we go with the icing. Okay, now we are going to place this back in the freezer to firm for another half an hour. This is an amazing contraption I found at Sur La Table. It's an icing device. And uh, you ju it's just so simple. So I'm gonna just pour my icing in it. If you want, you can get creative. You could add uh, some chocolate, some sauce, syrup, or some cacao powder to it and make it uh, chocolate. So our caramel sauce is basically just two ingredients, half a cup of almond butter and two thirds cup of maple syrup. And we just blend it in the blender. So this is our caramel sauce. Okay, so my cheesecake must be firmed by now. It is. Made a beautiful plate, her presentation plate. I really, um, I forgot to show you how I uh, generously oiled my tin with coconut oil before I put the, um, the crust in it and the filling so that it, it can come out perfect.
be sure to save some of the icing so you can squeeze some on top. Real pretty like this. Dehydrated chocolate sauce. And some caramel sauce. So here you go. Healthy, non-dairy, raw, chocolate, delicious, good for you cheesecake. The recipe can be found at rawveganchesecake.com. Enjoy, sweet dreams. <laughs>